Hey Ron, how's it going? Thank you for sending this video. A really good angle and shot here that I can really hopefully dissect a few things on your backhand. And you hit the ball well, there's a lot of good mechanics in here, but a few little key things I think we can neaten up a little bit that I'm going to go through. But yeah, anyone listening and watching, please do share and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And grab the link in the description below to grab your free personalized swing audit also. Okay, so backhand technique off the back wall, big common thing I coach a lot. So couple of things that I want to start off with is really good. Look at that perfect diamond shape there. Absolutely brilliant. So that is fantastic. I love how the racket's tilting over. The angle of the racket faces in the right direction, all good. But there's actually something about how you get here that's a little bit, possibly a little bit messy. Look at how much of a hitch you have there. So there's quite a big hitch before you swing. And I think that's sometimes affecting it. I'll show you in a few more positions as well. As you go into hit, Look at how close you are to the ball there. That's really close. If you think about the distance between your hand and your knee, that's minuscule. You're really close. And you can almost see that you're having to pull away a little bit. Something I just want to point out, if you just look at your left hand, it's not really connected to the swing. It's actually going in the opposite direction. And I'm not sure if you've noticed that before, but what I'd like to see, that's good there. And then your hands want to scissor away from each other. Whereas your left hand goes behind your back there. And I think that's a little bit constricting if I'm honest I think that doesn't quite help the swing too much so a couple of good things but also a couple of things we need to look at and yeah look this is a classic as you're watching the ball go in and I know you just hit the shot back to yourself but look at where your racket head is there it's down for a long time the ball is bounced and it's still super super low for me you need to be in that diamond position a lot earlier as you let that ball go there's a lot of moving parts there there's a lot of a little bit of extra power but not necessarily consistency, but that shape is phenomenal. I think anyone watching and for yourself, that's a beautiful shape there. I talk a lot about getting the shoulder underneath the chin and you've got that perfectly. Angle of the shoulders is great. And again, the diamond shape and the setup. If I'm honest, if you could just take a snapshot of that's super, really good. But like I said, I think getting into there, it's a little bit messy. Something else I want to point out really good. I'll try to find the best angle for it. I really like your grip. You've got a really nice grip that your top finger is up. It's sitting across your fingers. It's not too much in your palm. Yeah, that, even that's a good position there. It's hard to see from there, but you've got just that little bit of spacing in and around there, which I think is really good. So superb grip, really good setup, but all a little bit late. And then the big thing, yeah, look at your positioning in regards to the ball. That's a little bit behind you. I know that's only one example, but again, I think here is the problem, isn't it? The space between your hand and your knee needs to be greater. You need to be able to reach a little bit more. Look how you, there's a slight bend in that elbow, which for me just implies you're a bit too close. And then it's really hard to get that consistency. So let's look at one or two more. Again, beautiful setup when you get to it there. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts to get to it. Can it be stiller for longer? Of course, there's going to be some form of movement, but I think yours is quite a big hitch there. Haven't got your feet quite in the right place. I can already see that. And yeah, look at that. Look at the clearance there. Look at how everything's a little bit jammed up. So for me, there's a couple of things in regard to your setup like, or, or the lateness of the setup, but generally it's really good. The biggest thing, obviously I can't draw it yet, but it's what's going on down there. It's what's going on with your feet and the placement of your feet that's going to be really fundamental to getting the shot out more and more consistently. You see the spacing there, all a bit close. Again, notice the left arm coming behind your back, all a little bit jammed up. Look, these are small things, I think, in regard to the, the left hand and the getting the setup in the right position. I think the big gains are going to be made with your placement and your feet. Definitely not maximizing your power and consistency. Again, I just want to point out that really good grip position. Love that. Look at that spacing. There's lots of good spacing between your finger and the rest of your, your top finger and the rest of it. Beautiful. Again, the thumb can either be up there sometimes or can tuck in over there. Either is quite cool. Like I use both at different situations. And let's just have a look at this last one. And better, slightly better, you engage your hips a little bit more. You get down, you engage your knees but still looks too close, doesn't it? It looks jammed in, that slight bend in the arm, only slight. Again, it's hard to draw on this, but I'd, I'd hope that the arm would be around there somewhere and then the racket reaching somewhere like that. But you can just see there that clearance, that ball needs to be, not the ball needs to be there because it can't be. You need to be further away to create that space to be able to hit more consistently and I think your follow through will get better and also maybe tidying up that left arm would be really key in that follow through phase. But listen, some really good stuff here, man. Thanks for sending this in. And yeah, anyone watching that wants to grab their own personalized approach, click on that link in the description and please do share and subscribe as much as you want.
Thanks everyone. Speak to you soon. Bye.